in the previous example we were given the yield and we calculated the price in practice it usually happens the other way around the yield is not something that's actually observable it is the price that a security is trading for that is observable and so frequently we are given the price and we have to calculate the yield in order to compare the return that we would be getting compared to other investments so if we start with the equation that we were just using this gives us an equation for the yield of a short-term discount security this derivation is shown to you for information purposes only you do not need to replicate a derivation such as this in this subject both of the formulas shown in yellow will be on your formula sheet 